two years ago, Backfire released the Zealot. With the sleek enclosures, composite deck, and a belt drive system, the board has some asking. Hey, is that a boosted board? A boosted board? Nah, this is a Backfire. Huh? huh? Featuring good battery capacity, acceleration, top speed, excellent speed controller, and built-in lights, I argued the king had returned. And it moves us Fast forward to today, Backfire has taken things to a whole new level with the Zealot S2. But as the saying goes, I can show you better than I can tell you. Hello and welcome to the channel. Incredibly excited to speak to you all today about the Backfire Zealot S2. And this board has me inspired to really create content. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering, where have you been the last three to four months? And the reason why you haven't seen me is it's been for a good reason, which is the fact that I recently completed my very first film, which is a documentary entitled Electric Pioneers. And I feel like whatever I enjoy that makes me happy, it makes me not want to drink, not want to do drugs. Um, I should be doing it. You see a lot of me that have back this sense of freedom that I hadn't had previously. People think it's kind of odd to see a family, and I'll even venture to say a black family, doing something like skateboarding together. So if I could talk to a lawmaker about PEDs. The documentary has been a lot of fun and I've received a lot of great support for the film. But let's jump right into this review on the Zealot S2. Let's start with the deck. Backfire completely redesigned this deck. First things first, they gave us a wider standing base and a longer deck. So it really feels incredibly comfortable when you're riding the board. It really helps to reduce that foot fatigue because as a person with a size 13 shoe, sometimes when boards have a little bit too much concave, I feel it a little bit more. So definitely a good look. And then of course, when you talk about the flex, because they're going with their composite, I feel like this has some of the best flex when you talk about a board with this particular style. Flex helps for a variety of different reasons. It helps to reduce foot fatigue and things like that, helps you de-weight yourself. But if a board is too flexible, then of course you run a risk of bottoming out your board, hitting your enclosures, and then when you hit those top speeds, it's not as safe. So really loving the deck on this board, really loving the concave, really enjoying the amount of flex that it has. Now, of course, they gave us that wonderful new design around the outer edge of the deck, which is the lighting system, which looks absolutely amazing. A lot of attention is just given to like the aesthetics of it, but I think sometimes people overlook the practicality of it. So when the initial Zealot came out years ago and Backfire had the purple LED strip lights on the bottom of the enclosure, I was one of the few people that said that it was a dope idea. A lot of people called it corny. They were talking about, oh, is the side pink or is it purple? And they just had a lot of negativity to say about it. And I always felt that those purple lights help with the visibility, which helps with safety. Backfire took it to a whole nother level, now completely encapsulating the purple around the deck of the board. Now, one of the things that I like most about it is the fact that we have the ability to go through different modes. So by double pressing it, flash mode, it's, it's flashing fast. I like to ride like that at night, ultimate visibility. Then if you press it again, turns them off, press it again, solid purple. Press it again, you get that breathing action. Like I said, to me, the practicality aspect, absolutely amazing from a safety perspective. It makes it to the point where the only thing that you need is just your shred lights in the front because all the rest of the purple is illuminating so much that people see you from miles away. 
Definitely something that I enjoy about the board. When you talk about the trucks, they're going with eight inch forged trucks. So these trucks are actually a little bit wider than what you see on some other board companies. And to me, this helps with the stability of the board. The Zealot at the higher speeds feels incredibly stable. Normally I purchase aftermarket bushings, but that was not necessary whatsoever. The first ride that I took on this board was a horrible Groot ride. <laughs> the one wheelers had us on some crazy terrain and the board handled it well. A couple of times I hit some like super big potholes and stuff like that. They had me really concerned. Turned the board over, looked at it, no concern. So I have no major complaints whatsoever when you talk about the trucks of this board. Now the wheels, 96 millimeter wheels, 88 durometer, loving this. Backfire to me has the best size standard stock wheel. Some other board companies may give you 80 inch wheels, 85 millimeter wheels, and maybe even 90. And those are solid options, but I like Backfire's choice because to me it's that perfect balance of good amount of size so that you can go over rougher terrain in the streets if you're doing some urban riding, potholes and things like that. Gives you a little bit more comfort because you have a little bit more polyurethane there. But then also it's not too big where you feel like you're losing torque and you're losing range and you're losing acceleration. Really a good solid setup. And to me, with the trucks, the deck, these wheels, makes for like a perfect urban commuter. Backfire is really positioning themselves to once again have the best street type board. No complaints at all with these wheels, really enjoying them. From an aesthetic perspective, they look amazing. They have the purplish kind of color scheme that go with the lights and it's purple and black. Really seems like Backfire put a lot of attention to detail. Solid stuff. Of course, we have to take a moment to discuss this sexy game changer remote. But before I do so, I wanna remind all of my subscribers that my son and I recently wrote two children's books, PEV related, the electric skateboard and the electric unicycle. They're available on Amazon and other book retailers. Now, when you talk about this remote, absolutely game changing when you pair it to the lights with this board. With the hammer sledge, Backfire gave us that new sexy remote. And in my review, I said, man, if, if Backfire puts it with the, the new Zealot, it's gonna be amazing. And that's exactly what they did. It doesn't just look good, incredibly functional, practical, and useful. When you talk about the integration of different things such as being able to check your battery status, being able to check individual cells, changing acceleration and braking curves, changing your remote from, of course, kilometers to miles per hour, just all the different functionality goes within it. The thumbprint where you can lock the board, you know what I'm saying, which is incredibly amazing. Good stuff here. Backfire in a lot of ways completely redesigned this board and the thought process around it. Enjoy it a lot and when you just pair it with all the other functionality of the board, it really just makes you feel like you have a premium product. Really good stuff. As it relates to the battery, we had a significant upgrade here. We're going with the 14S 2P setup. So the initial Zealous were I think a 12S system. So the 14S system is going to give us a little bit more efficiency, a little bit more power and acceleration. Backfire decided to go with the Samsung 40 T cells and we have a total watt hour capacity of 403 and we also of course have that smart BMS system to help protect the batteries and help with the discharge and the charging. I like this battery setup a lot. Super impressed with the range that I've been able to experience. I haven't done a range test. I will do one but I remember I was doing a group ride and we did I think seven miles and I still had like 75 percent battery. To me that's pretty impressive for a rider that's 225 pounds. The other thing that's really fascinating to me is the charger that Backfire provided us. They gave us a 3.5 amp charger. In my unboxing, I thought it was a 3 amp charger, and it's not. And the reason why I kind of did some further investigating is because when I was charging the board, I was like, why is it charging so fast? It just didn't seem like it charged like a 3 amp charger. And that's because it's a 3.5 amp charger. It seemed like if I was at like 70%, 60%, I threw it on the charger, got a, something to drink or whatever, came back, and I was hitting, you know, 85, 90% charge, getting to that 100% a lot faster than what I'm accustomed to. So a really solid setup. I'm loving that I'm seeing this. I believe the old Zelly had a 2.5 amp charger, so I'm glad they went with the larger charger here, especially since this battery pack is a little bit larger. Now, when you talk about the motors, and the drivetrain system, of course, we got belt drive, which is one of my favorite propulsion systems, so to speak. Backfire is going with, of course, 875 watt hour motors. The board has great acceleration, really nice top speed. I believe that Backfire advertises, I think, a 31 mile per hour top speed. 
I think I hit 28 or something like that one time before and I wasn't trying. I'm not really a top speed guy. I generally tend to ride what's most comfortable and safe depending on the environment that I'm riding. But I have to admit, I'm not concerned whatsoever that this board can hit the top speed for a couple of different reasons. One of which is I'm, I got 28, wasn't trying, I'm 225 pounds. So if you're 200 pounds, 180, 160, 150, you're not gonna have any problem whatsoever. This board, super impressive in that area as well. Now, when you talk about like the board weight, one of the things that makes these style of boards amazing is the portability aspect. The last couple of reviews that I did were four wheel drive boards and they were amazing. The, the, the speed, the acceleration, the braking capabilities is crazy. But after sometimes when you're trying to make quick runs, I'm running to the movies or I'm just running to the store. While those boards are a lot of fun, you start to realize that, man, these things can be a little bit cumbersome because they're heavy. They're 50 pounds, 60 pounds. They're just not nimble to carry around. So when I got this board, it reminded me once again how much I love the street setup of these boards because of the portability. They're great commuters and things like that. Backfire says that this board weighs about 23 pounds, which is very easy to get around and pick up. Very nice. The board dimensions are 39.9 inches. Um, to me, perfect. Uh, as a six per one person, six, one and a half, I can get a good stance. I feel comfortable when I'm riding the board. You guys know that whenever I, I give my feedback on the board, I also like to give you guys some of my nitpicks or some of the things that I think companies should consider with these boards so that hopefully they can adopt these things so it makes it even better for the consumer. I love a lot of things about this board. Really only have a couple of nitpicks and to be honest about it, they're almost not even nitpicks because when you get a board like this, that's very solid, you're kind of struggling to get nitpicks. But one of the things that I, I did kind of observe is that I love that the board has those, the lighting strip around the side of it. I would have loved to have seen backfire integrate bash guards in the truck system similar to what you see with some other boards because I'm paranoid and I don't want to sit my board on its bottom and stand it up because I, I love the way it looks too much. Like it's an amazing looking board and I don't want to scratch up the lights or anything like that. Now I know that that outer coating is supposed to be made to absorb impact and things like that, but I'm wondering as time progresses, as people sit their boards up and stand them up, what the bottom of that deck is going to look like. So I think if Backfire had integrated like some bash guards, that would really be amazing. I may even try to do some research. If you guys are doing some DIY stuff, let me know. I'm curious to see what you guys think about that and what you guys are gonna do about that situation. My other nitpick, and I talked about this in my Hammer Sledge review, this remote on the Backfire Zealot and the Backfire Hammer Sledge is amazing. Game changing. Integrated lights, color schemes, can change all these different functionalities within the remote. Metal aluminum casing, feels amazing. I wish Backfire would have sent this board with some type of protective cover that we can decide to put on if we wanted it on. Cause I can only imagine if you drop this board or you fall with it, it's just gonna tear it up. <laughs> but you know, that's with any remote, but I guess I'm more concerned about it with this one because it's just such a sexy remote and I want it to continue to look good. Other than that guys, you know, I really don't have anything negative to say about this board. Thoroughly enjoying it. And like I said, this is an initial impression. As I put more miles on the board, I will continue to update you guys and as well as do that range test. If you wanna learn anything more about the board, don't forget to check out the links in the description. As always, I will see you at the top because the bottom is too crowded. Peace.